Hi, this is Bethany Malagoff, also Fancy Bethany on Instagram. I'm a photographer and filmmaker based in Los Angeles, California, and today I'm really excited to share a double exposure tutorial with you. I'm super excited to share this tutorial. It's pretty quick and easy, but I think it really maximizes your creativity. So a double or multiple exposure is taking two different images and combining them together into one. Today I wanted to switch it up a little bit and use one still image and one video clip to create a moving picture. As a creative person, I'm always making new things, I'm always experimenting, I'm always trying to push myself. Adobe Stock helps me have access to imagery that I might not be able to go out and create for myself. So there's a ton of different ways that you can do a multiple exposure image. You can do it in camera, you can use Photoshop, but today I'm gonna to be using Adobe Premiere and Adobe Stock. Let's get started by heading over to adobestock.com. I wanna begin by finding a strong still image. I want this image to be of a woman and I want her to be silhouetted as much as possible. The key to finding a good image is making sure the background isn't super cluttered. Immediately this photo jumps out to me. I love the way her neck reaches to the sky and her hair gently blows in the breeze. I think this has enough light and dark that another layer of video will add a nice emotional element. Now that I've found my still image, I'm gonna save this to a folder so that I have easy access in Premiere. So for my second layer, I've decided I would like to use a field of flowers. I think that this will work really well with her energy and the way her hair is gently blowing in the breeze. And I hope that this evokes a feeling of summer. So now I'm gonna search for flowers. I really like the strong use of light with this field of flowers and I think it filters through nicely and really goes for the mood I'm hoping to achieve. I'm gonna download this video and save it in the same folder so I have easy access to now start my double exposure process. You're gonna create a new project in Adobe Premiere and drag your still image and your video clip into a new project. Create a new timeline and go ahead and drag your still image and your video clip onto this timeline. I want to create a color mat in the background so that I don't have the black bars on either side. I'm gonna tweak my color and my contrast before I start layering the two images together. Now that I'm happy with both my still image and my video clip, I'm going to make my double exposure. You're gonna to wanna to make sure your color mat is the very bottom layer, up next is your still image, and on top of that is your video clip. Once they're on top of each other, click in to the effects tab of the video. You're gonna go under opacity and look at the blend mode. I like to play around and see which blending mode I like the best. I usually use screen and sometimes overlay. In this case, we're gonna go with screen. And there you have it, a simple and easy moving double exposure. There are endless possibilities with what you can make, so play around and see how creative you can get with Adobe Stock. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you learned something and I hope it was fun. Bye.